Hello and welcome along to the next installment of my Camper Conversion YouTube channel. So this video is part of a series converting the VW T5 high top into a fully fledged DVLA registered camper van from what used to be just a mobile mechanics van. I've been cracking on the interior, I've got all the insulation and carpeting pretty much all done. So now it's time to get a window into the sliding door. Now, I know the vast majority of people who fit windows into T5s, T4s, they generally go for the full panel size, glazed window in there. I don't mind that look, but I just see it as a big potential heat loss area, condensation area. And to be honest, I'm actually trying to keep this van as enclosed as possible for a few different reasons. One, to try and uh, make it a bit easier to sleep in on the night time. Uh, obviously the less glazing that you've got the less potential heat loss that you've got as well and having a huge pain there I've had it in one of my previous vans and after overnight it was just always full of condensation this that the other always seemed to be a f uh, losing battle trying to keep it condensation free retain some heat inside the van so instead today I'm going to be fitting a slightly smaller window that's the window I'm going to be fitting in now the DVLA don't say that there's a specific size requirement for the windows, it just says you do need a window in the side of a van. I've fitted this type of window in a couple of previous conversions, in a couple of Daihatsu Hijets and the Ford Connect. It's always gone in absolutely fine, no problems at all. And the couple of advantages of a window like this, it's actually a double glaze window. There's two layers, as you can see. So that should help retain some heat from inside the actual vehicle. It might also help reflect some heat during the summer as well, rather than just having one single pane that basically acts like a greenhouse. Now because it's, uh, as I say, it's double glazed, double pane, it should help retain some heat within the van, but because it's a slightly smaller size window as well, it just means there's gonna be less potential heat loss going through compared to a, a huge single glazed pane instead. It's gonna be a relatively simple, straightforward fit. I say I've fitted a couple of these in previous fans already. I'm going to try and kill three birds with one stone by cutting through the metalwork, the insulation, and the ply panel on the inside as well. If I can get those all cut out in one go, it means that this window should then just be able to slide straight in into the gap, using a bit of wire just to be able to get the uh, the seal all the way around. And then once it's in place, I'm going to be uh, sick of flexing it on the outside, just to be 100% sure that it's going to be fully watertight, it's not going to be any chance of any water getting in through this window at all. And I say once it's in place, it should smarten up the door, it will meet the DVLA requirements, and it'll just give that little extra little bit of light coming in as well. So first things first, I'm going to take this door on the outside, uh, the window on the outside of the door, draw around the inside of the rubber frame, that's where you get pretty much the template from. And it's just going to be a case of punching a hole through with a 10mm drill bit, getting my jigsaw out, cutting out, and hopefully within the next couple of hours at most, we should have a fully fitted window in the sliding door. Alright, so there's the template ready to cut round. So now it's just going to be a case of poking through a pilot hole so I can get my jigsaw through and then cutting it all out in one go and then we'll have a look at getting the window fitted in. So just a little tip before cutting into any sort of metalwork, if you want to try and protect the paintwork, the best thing to do is just to put a quick layer of masking tape around the outside just so when you're cutting across over it with the jigsaw, the metal plate itself will just skim across the actual masking plate rather than digging into the metalwork. Now I'm not overly fussed about this because this van's going to be going in to get resprayed once all the conversion work's done anyway. But just a little conversion tip there, as I say, if you're going to be cutting or doing anything on painted surface, a little bit of masking tape just around it and that should help protect it from any scuffs and scratches. So now I've got my pilot hole through, I've got all the masking tape around, it's now time to start getting the jigsaw out and no turning back, let's get it cut out.
Right, so there's the hole cut out. So before I start even thinking about fitting the window, I'm gonna then now treat all of this bare metal that I've just exposed. Just give it a quick coat over with some hammerite or some sort of anti-rusting paint, just to be sure that this itself isn't gonna then start bubbling away a year or two later down the line. So I'll get some paint out, give this a good smothering around, then we'll look at getting the window in. So that's just a quick test fit before I start painting it up. Obviously we want to make sure that the window will actually fit in before painting around any of the cut metal work. Otherwise then you're just having to repeat yourself. So that's an okay. I haven't put it in 100%, it's just loosely in. Just to be sure that it's the right size. So now time to take the window out, get the metal treated. Then we'll get it in and get it sick of flexed and bonded in. So there we go, that's the window fully fitted, fully finished, inside and out. It's got a nice watertight seal going all the way around. It's fully sickerflexed uh, in place. And that's with the Sikaflex 221, so that, as I say, this just shouldn't be going anywhere at all, anywhere soon. And this should provide a nice waterproof seal going all the way around on the inside of the rubber, up against the metal. On the inside, it's all nice and trimmed against the panel. As you can see, it's, a, so it's quite an unusual window to fit really compared to the usual full panel width. It's only going to be letting in a portion of the light compared to what, as I say, the full panel would, but that's what I'm wanting in here. I don't really want the van to be full of windows at all. If anything, the, the fewer windows the better, and it's just because the DVLA do stipulate that you do need one. That's why I fitted one and this should still get signed off by them. But I say with that being the only window and then the front cabs, should be quite darker in the back but as I say that's exactly what I'm actually going to be wanting from this. It also means that in the future if I do sell the van down the line and somebody whoever buys it does want to actually fit a full window all they need to do is cut around the main panel that you would cut out anyway the f that thing will just then fall out and then you can still fit a full bonded window in here anyway if you wanted to later down the line or if I wanted to but as I say just for now this is exactly what I wanted, and as I say, I'm thinking it's looking quite nice and neat. I've managed to tuck the carpet in and around the seal on the inside as well. And this entire door panel has full insulation on behind this panel as well, top and bottom. So as I say, it's more insulation, if anything else. With this window being double glazed, it should hopefully reduce the condensation and heat loss as well. So as I say, that's the whole thinking behind this more insulation, less heat loss. I'm not fussed about losing a little bit of light. As I say, there's plenty of down lights in here anyway, and there's still plenty of light that's gonna be coming through the front cab. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, do give that good old thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button as well, and have a look at my channel. 
loads of content on there already. And do leave a comment on this video as well. Do you like this type of window? Would you have fitted a different type of one? Maybe a porthole? Or do you just prefer the full, full panel type glazed window? I said leave a comment below. Give the video a good old thumbs up. And hopefully I'll see you on the next video of this series. Thanks for watching. Cheers.